Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Um, today was fun. I had to do my baby registry, but there's other things that just bother you when you're pregnant. So if you see a little bit of grumpiness, it just so happens. So anyways, um, I have my notes, so I'll just go ahead and jump into um, my week 24 pregnancy. So this means I'm exactly six months, and that's crazy to think about because that means in three months my daughter will be here. And every time I go to vlog, I forget my fucking rubber bands. See, there's the grumpiness. I'm just gonna put them in so if you have braces you know what this is like or if you want to get races this is <laughs> what you're gonna look like so just bear with me usually I'm really good at this so thank you for you guys for making me nervous <laughs> okay here's the first one These actually hurt, like when you sleep with them and you wake up in the morning, you can tell like your mouth is not the same. See, I was watching the Bronco game. I just have it on because my sister and her boyfriend are watching it in the front room and that's like what everyone's doing right now, I guess. So, anyways. Okay! 24 weeks pregnant, six months. Um, my symptoms, I'm always craving water. I'm always thirsty. Like, I cannot go to bed. Like, you know when, like, you're thirsty, but you just lay in bed and you're like, I will fight it off and I will just go to sleep. Or you have to pee and you just fight it off and go to sleep. Like, I can't do that. Like, I don't have an option. Like, I have to have water. Like, I have to get up out of my bed and put clothes on because <laughs> I like to sleep in my underwear and I have roommates so like I had to put clothes on and I go get water drink it and just like oh, it's like the best ever it's like I've never like had water in my life or something um I've been craving coffee for, at least for the past two weeks I'd say and I know I can only have so much caffeine so um I get decaffeinated, or I'll do like half and half, but that's rarely. I really just like the taste, and oh, fun. something funny that happened this week is um, I went to the corner store, and I got this pumpkin spice latte, um, and before I, I was like wanted to sniff it before I bought it, so I put a little bit in the coffee cup, and I sniffed it, and when I did, oh my gosh, Nevea like started moving all crazy, just off of a scent, so I thought that was pretty cool, <laughs> and um, yeah, she's been moving a lot lately. It kind of makes me giggle. I feel like we're almost having to work. Because when she moves, like, I'll bend over to make her move more or something. And, like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, when she's hungry, man, she moves so much. Like, after I did my baby registry today, she was like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you need to feed me. So she was moving so much. And it just makes me laugh. But once you start getting hungry, you feel like you've never eaten in your like in your life. It's like you're starving to death. You can't think. Like you, you're just like food, food. <laughs> um, this week I noticed like I got like two dots on my nose. You can't really tell here. I mean, it looked like freckles to me the other day. But I was like reading that book that I recommended, what to expect when expecting. Um, we talked about like dark spots, and uh, they go away after you ha after you deliver or, or like two weeks after you deliver. So. I'm hoping if they stay that, that is the case because, I mean, if they're freckles, that's cool, but I want more. I just don't want, like, two in the middle of my nose. It's kind of weird. Um, Today I weighed myself. I was, like, 137.8, so it's 138. And um, I looked at my weight tracker and, like, how I'm tracking my weight, and I should be, I should have been 138 last week. So this week I should be 139, so I'm just a pound low of, of, me gaining 33, 33 pounds, that's, that's like my goal, is to gain a pound after, um, each week after my first trimester, is to gain one pound, so if I did, I would gain a total of 33 pounds, so right now I'm just a pound under of doing that, but that's fine, because I need to at least gain 25 pounds, and I'm sure I'll get there, <laughs> um, yesterday, uh, I went to go look at hospitals, but thing is, um, out of the three hospitals I wanted to go look at, only one lets you just, like, there's a scheduled time you can go. 
and uh, so that was Denver Health, and so you, we went at 6 p.m., and it was like four other groups that were with us, and they do tour the hospital, and I think for the most part, I liked it. I mean, I guess I'll give, so far, I'll give the hospital like maybe a 7 or 8 out of 10, just because like they aren't, they try to not have C-sections there, and that's like one of my biggest concerns is I don't want to have a, a, a C-section, and um, I can just continue this conversation along with um, one of my YouTube questions. Um, I didn't get her name, but it's in the com my comments for my past video. But she asked if uh, what's my birth plan if I'm doing C-section or natural birth, and my goal is to have a natural birth, but I'm not opposed to like having an epidural. Like if I need it, um, I will take it. But I want to wait to the very last minute. Um, my friend, like, showed me a video of her giving birth to her son, like, side view, you know, not, like, all up in her goodies, but, um, and I, like, watched her do that, and it was just so inspiring, and I understand, like, um, that the mother's so tired after they give a natural birth and so on, but I don't know, I just want to see, like, my body's built for this, and I would just, like, really just like to have my baby natural. And because, like, the epidural, like, I like to lift weights, and I like to lift heavy weights. Like, I like to squat. I like to, you know, like, hang clean. I, I like to I like to use the heavy weights. And um, so you have to use a lot of your back, you know. And um, well, not, it's, you lift with your legs, but, like, you put the bar, like, right here. And, like, that's putting weight on your back. So, like, I want to make sure that my back is okay. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that's what I have to say about that hospital. So, I mean, everything else was okay. Hospitals smell weird all the time anyways, I think. But I'm going to go look at two more, which is St. Joseph Hospital. That's where I was born. But it's like a newer hospital now. Um, so that's pretty cool. So <laughs> I'll probably want that one because they had like a big tub and like one of the pictures. So I have to set an appointment with them. And then I set an appointment with Rose Medical. And, um, so I'm going to go look at those hospitals and then see what I think. Um. Let's see. Um, oh, this is exciting. I have my photographer picked out for my maternity photos and baby shower. Um, his name is Jamex on social media. I tag him like on all my stuff on Instagram. My Instagram's um at Pat Bustall. If you haven't followed me yet, go check me out. Go check out his workout, follow him. Um when I first started modeling, <laughs> that's who I started working with and he's the photographer that always gets me published. I actually just got published. Uh, for this month, I believe, and that's really exciting because I'm six months pregnant, and it's kind of cool to have a magazine like, yeah, I'm published one pregnant, even though I didn't take that picture when I was pregnant, but whatever, it still counts. Anyways, um, yeah, so I have some ideas for my maternity photos. I'm gonna try to have him do at least two, um, but one for sure. Then he's gonna take the pictures of my baby shower. So I'm really excited for that because he's just amazing. Um. So, let's see. It looks like I didn't write too much for this week. But I'm really excited because I got some mail and I waited to open this with you guys. Oh, yeah. And then as far as my lighting, I haven't even ordered it yet. Like, to be honest, instead I ordered some other stuff from Amazon. <laughs> from Amazon. Um, I bought, like, this she organizer to put on my door because I'm trying to create more space. So, I just got it today. Actually, I haven't even opened it. But, um... Things on your door, and you put all your high heels and stuff in it, so I can create more place uh, space in my closet, so it doesn't look so cluttered. Because I'm just thinking of ways to like uh, have like space in here, not make it look so like gosh, there's shit everywhere. But um, I'm not. Our lease is up here when Neve is six months old, so by that time, I mean that'll be perfect for her to have her own room after. So I'm just like really like scared, like about having my baby shower and people are just like buying her a bunch of toys. Because, like, she's not even going to play with the toys yet when she's, like, zero to three months, I'm sure. Maybe when she starts getting to six months, she'll play with, like, those little, like, things that make, the books that, like, make the noise. And, like, I don't know, like, butterfly toys that are on top, whatever the hell. <laughs> I'm totally new at this mommy stuff. Okay, yeah, so anyways, um, I will get my ring light, and when I do, I'll totally see difference. I'm recording here today because, um, yeah, they're watching football out there, and whatever okay so I don't know if you ladies have heard of this or dads but um on Instagram it's called milk snob and I just stumbled upon them somehow 
and I really like it because you'll see. Let's see, I'm so excited. I'm on board. Like, I can't. I can't put this on my baby registry. But if you're watching this and you're gonna come to a baby shower, like, just know I would just love having these. So you use this for um, your car seat. You put it over your car seat. And then you can use it to breastfeed in public, and that's my favorite part, is that you can use it to breastfeed in public, because um, I'm okay to breastfeed in public, but I don't feel comfortable just having my boob hanging out and everybody see my boobs, because, like, my boobs are special. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, I just, like, I don't want everybody to, like, see my boobs. So, if you do breastfeed and you're okay with, like, everyone see your boob, like, cool, like, I don't care. Show your boobs. But me, just personally, like, I just, like, don't want to show my boob. But I'm not opposed to breastfeeding in public. I will. I just, like, want something to cover me while I feed my baby. Um, so, what does it say here? Infant car seat cover and full coverage nursing cover. Two-in-one. Two-in-one thing. It's really cool. Uh, lux luxuriously soft and lightweight. Four-way stretch for extra comfort. Comfort. I can't read. Um, provides full 360 coverage. So, I got this one, and I think it's the strawberry color. I really want some more. I'm so excited. I waited for you guys to open this. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, this is it. So, it goes over your car seat. I don't have a car seat yet, but I did my baby registry today, and I have um, a bag that I'm going to go over with you guys. So, let's pretend I have to breastfeed. <laughs> I think I know how to do this. Baby's hungry. Yeah. Oh my god. We gotta feed the baby. Okay. So, I don't know how to breastfeed yet, but I'm assuming like you hold your baby like a football. Like you put your, their legs this way and their head would be right here. So, here comes the boob. And then you can't see, you can't see like anything, you know. You can see like the lining of things, but you cannot see any goodies. So, I really like this. And look. I love it. This is like gonna be my favorite thing. So yeah, buy me, buy me some of these. Yeah, I really like it. Let's see some of these. See how happy I am now. I love getting stuff in the mail. It's changing my day. <laughs> if you're in a bad mood, online shop. Oh, what you bring me? Uh, actually, you know what? So, I don't even care if I stay in it right anymore. That place is Zoo Lily. I ordered two two pairs of yoga pants, maternity size, and then I ordered two shirts, like one dressy one, and then one that says uh, "Baby wants a cupcake," and it was just like thin straps, whatever. And I was all excited to get it, and then I also ordered a dress along with that order. Get down! <laughs> I don't know what she's up to. Anyways, I ordered a dress without ordering because I think what happens is um, they get, like, the, the items cheaper from different, um, like, sites or departments. And then they all, then once I order them from Zulily, they order them. Then those shipments had to go to Zulily, and then they finally send it to me. Well, my dress didn't come in, so they delayed my whole order. And if they can't get it within 30 days, which I've already been waiting uh, maybe three weeks, like, my, my it should have been here September 4th. So, almost three weeks. So, I might have to wait another month for all my stuff. So, I'm not really happy about that. Like, out of my three places I ordered from my maternity clothes, I only got one of them, fat, only one of them, and it, that was H&M. And that's the one I wasn't too excited about, but I'm really happy with what I got. Like, I, like, grab them if they're clean all the time. So, um, this shirt is just, it's not a maternity shirt, but I just bought a size bigger than my size from Charlotte Ruse. So, um, it fits me good, but anyways, um, oh yeah, and then I ordered some stuff from Burlington, and I guess they had a problem with my shipping, never sent me an email to tell me anything, and, um, so now they're gonna refund the money back onto the car that I purchased it with, so, I'm only basically getting one, maybe two out of the three items, so, just letting you know, um, be careful when you put your address in on Burlington. Like, I put it right. They just couldn't find it. Like, I know how to type in my address. I remember looking at it. So, see? So, what? Happy, happy to grumpy. Now we have to eat these. I love this. 
Thank you. And then, like, I was thinking because she's going to be born in the winter, I don't want, like, the cold air getting all over her, so I can put this over the car seat and then a blanket on top. And, yeah, cool. So I did my baby registry today, and these are some of the things they gave me for free when you do your registry. Um, I got some camper wipes. Oh, no. What is this? I don't even know what I'm talking about. One diaper. <laughs> One. And six wipes. And these better be some coupons. Okay, coupon off for Pampers. On my registry, I did all Pamper diapers because um, I haven't really did any research on diapers except I do like the Honest Company and they don't have that. They don't have those diapers at Babies R Us, but I did see that they have them at Target. And the cool thing is you can pick your own print for the diaper and they change the prints for the seasons, I guess. So, I don't know. I really like those diapers. And the thing is I don't like want to buy too much of one diaper because today my mom and my boyfriend's mom was like, she might be, have allergic reactions, so you have to be careful. So I'm kind of nervous about, like, finer diapers, but, like, I put, like, some baby rash diaper cream on um, the baby registry and stuff. So, yeah. And then another thing we're thinking about today is uh, my mom has eczema, and it's hereditary, and now I have eczema. So, I mean, if anybody does get eczema, I hope it's, like, one of my cases where it's not that extreme. Like, you can't even tell I have it. It is itches sometimes. It gets, like, really dry in the winter, and I just put something over it. But when I was little, I would always used to itch it, so it would bleed all crazy. It looked all nasty. So, the, the key to having eczema is, like, you don't have to scratch it, because then it just looks so ugly. But... I really hope that um, she doesn't get a breakout of eczema. And if she does, it's just like a really small case like mine. Because mine, I forget that I have it like all the time. So, okay. So it looks like I can just carry this around just real quick. Like I guess a trip to like what the restaurant. So I don't want to carry um, a big old baby bag. I don't know. What are some places that you'd recommend for baby bags? And then what are some places that you'd recommend for like breast pumps? Because I do want to um, breastfeed, but I want to like be able to pump and go so like if my mom wants to babysit the baby or if I need a babysitter or something I want to be able to make sure that they have my breast milk so what do you guys recommend and I think the girl is like looking at me crazy because I was like can you recommend me to like a breast pump that's not going to destroy my nipples and she was just like oh the hospital recommends this one I was like no I don't care what the hospital recommends I, I care about my boobs right now because my baby's going to be fine it's going to be fine like, she's going to get fed like, I'm trying to save the boobs, okay? <laughs> um, but they did give me this so I can test it out. So I'm going to, like, put my boob on this thing. And I've seen a girl breastfeed before at my job. And um, it, like, sucks your nipple into this thing, I think. And that's really scary because it's, like, stretching your boob. But um, this is a manual one that they gave you for free. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I guess I'm going to test this out by myself. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, oh, sorry. Okay. And then this is um, one of the bottles that go with it, I guess. It's like a different brand. Ma'am. M-A-M. Ma'am. Cute bottle. With little rabbits on it. It looks like it's one of those. Huh. Oh, there's a pass fire inside too. I don't want to open it yet. Sorry. Um, what else did you get me? A latch. Better latch, like the breastless Solok. Solik. Sorry. A Shelly. I don't know. I'm going to do some researching with like bo about bottles and like breast pumping. Um, so yeah, please help me. If you have experience, like please help me. Um, what else is in here? Oh yeah, I was cool that I was like happy they gave me these little samples. Um, let me at least take them out for you guys. To prevent stretch marks, I guess. Let's see. I'm looking at the first time as you. Mastila? Mastella? And <gasps> I'm hmm. 
I don't know. I'll check them out and let you know what I think. Some coupons. On the invitations. So baby registry, like sticking out almost. You just throw it in there so people know I'm registered there. I'm also going to do a diaper raffle. I'm not I need to get all this crap to you. Um, no, I'll check out all this stuff. Cheddarfly. Keep on Boo's R Us. It's all my registry stuff. I didn't get my crib registered because I think I'm just going to purchase that online. And, um, what else did I put on there? Oh, yeah, my breast pump because I don't know what I want yet. So. Oh, and um, before I let you guys go, <laughs> there was a comment on uh, my last video. This guy was like, it's funny because I didn't say where I worked. I said I work in the nightclub. I work with the doll entertainment or something like that. And he must know what I do or watch what I'm doing. And uh, he's like, you work in the strip club and you're pregnant. And I'm like, hello, yeah, so, like, what it, so what? What? What's the big deal? There was girls that work in the strip club till they're like eight months pregnant. I don't care. That's how comfortable they feel to work in there. But um, yeah. Who cares? Thanks for the view though. And um, oh, I sound all mean, huh? You think you mean? <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, yeah. So I did put my two weeks in though. Um, because of how I was feeling, I wasn't gonna put it in. Um. I think last week, but I was like, no, I couldn't do it, I wasn't ready, and um, because my belly's starting to grow, like, in my opinion, the way I feel, I think it's time to go, I don't have a problem with girls that work pregnant, I've seen a stripper work pregnant, and guys loved it, guys don't care if you're pregnant, they don't, it's weird, like, this baby did not come from you, stay away from me, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you my bump. Okay. We're in the same pants because, well, I have three pairs of these now, but because of my male issue that I told you about. You know what? Like, I feel like my tummy is like kind of square. Like, it's not round like all the other girls. And I don't know. I don't know. It's because, like, if I had like. I like, like I said, I used to have, like, well, I still do, but I had, like, strong abs up here, and, like, down here is kind of hard to target that I had abs, but, I don't know. Let me turn me. Six months. All right, guys, there is my bump. <laughs> uh, also, in the meantime, what I'm going to do for, you know, money while I'm pregnant is uh, nothing. <laughs> no. Um, I'm actually serving at one of my old jobs. It's a Mexican restaurant. And then I'm an account manager for TMA. And it's targeted mobile advertising. So look that up. If you need somebody to help you, let me know. And um, with all that fun stuff that I showed you, I'm going to wrap up the video. So go ahead and comment if you have any questions. Um, give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you would just share my video if you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for my 25th week update of pregnancy. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Bye.